Okay, so I am here to talk about my Chic Sparrow B6 in the color um, English Rose. And as you see, I have like the gold, uh, not gold, the silver foil inscribed on here with my name. And it is a deluxe, so there's stitching around the sides and um, it's got this really nice uh, pebbly kind of effect on it. It's not too pebbly, which is really something that I, I did ask them for is a not too pebbly version of this. I'd seen some people have really pebbly ones, but that's not really my cup of tea. Um, it has a little spine enclosure and the four strings, of course, which is a uh, signature of Chic Sparrows. And it is a deluxe, like I said, so there's pockets here and here and here. And I haven't really moved in yet, so there's nothing going on in here. But um, this, uh, if you guys have seen my previous video where I had done my first B6, which was the everything, uh, the wine with everything, um, these are the same inserts except for one inside of this. And this is actually a dashboard that I had gotten. Um, this is by Maggie's Boutique and it uh, has this little flip over thing, which I actually kind of like, but I don't use it in the first one. And it has this little pocket here with my little cards and stuff in it. And um, this uh, was also from Maggie's Boutique, this pocket, along with these cards. This is actually a card that she sent me that I really like. And, um, you know, it's just adorable. Anywho, so I'll put that back in here. And this is another thing that she had sent me as well. This is a folder, which I put some gold washi on the inside just to keep from tearing. But this is a folder from Maggie's Boutique as well. And it has this little pocket here and a little pocket here. And then the inside pockets. And then there's that gold washi I was telling you about. And this right here is, um, this is a Paper Penguin Co. insert. But I took this, uh, this duct tape that I put over it. And it makes it look really cute. So, And then these are just baby pictures and pictures of my kids and stuff. So... This is the most adorable looking picture. I mean, he looks like he belongs on some sort of website. But here is my husband and just pictures of my kids and stuff. And then into the 2017 uh, Paper Penguin Co. Um, calendar. And, you know, it's already predated and everything. So it's not any different than before with this little bulldog clip here. And then this is the inside, which is, is kind of ugly, but you know what? I don't really care. And then this little polka dot bulldog clip I have here, which holds my um, fountain pen. And the fountain pen is still the same from before. This actually is the um, Pilot fountain pen. I can't ever remember the name of it, really, but that's what it is. And then this is the end of that, um, the end of the folder. Here is the rest of that dashboard, and you see it's reversible, so it's really cute. Um, this is what I got from Maggie's Boutique. This is another one of her dashboards, and it's got the little folder flippy thingy in here somewhere, right here. And this is a Paper Penguin Co. also. And it is just my week, and then on the other side is... A dot grid, which I put my weekly tasks, medicines, discussions, upcoming, so on. And, you know, I also use this for school planning. So I do a lot of color coding, which is pretty nice. So that's the end of that insert. This insert is another one of my, it's another insert that I, this is a Tomoe River. And um, I put the duct tape over it, which I really like this duct tape. I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. And this is the Tomoe River paper, which is so awesome. And like I said, the insides aren't very pretty, but do I care? Um, this is the rest of the dashboard. And like I said before, they are interchangeable. So that's why it looks like that. And then this is uh, the inside and outside of this dashboard. So see how they're different? It's pretty cool, actually. This one is another Penguin pe Paper Penguin Co., I believe. And it's just a regular dot grid. I use this for school, as you see. I mean, it's got like little highlighters and stuff going out throughout it. And... Um, then this is the rest of that dashboard and there's nothing too fancy in here. And <clears throat> this is my Coletto pen. I got it from Amazon actually. And it cost me only like $13, but it is the high tech C Coletto pen. 
And um, it came with the colors. It came with 10 of them, which I thought was really cheap. And it writes so nice. I mean, if you guys like gel pens, this is definitely a, a way to go because it's kind of like a gel pen. And I just, they give you different colors and stuff. And so these are the colors I would use predominantly. I don't like the dark blue, even though that's what I use in my other pen. But um, this one has this blue, this green, um, this one right here is a pink, and a red, and a black, of course. And so that's what the pen looks like, and then this is the, I did do a little writing thing, but this is what they look like when you write in it, and it, it comes out so thin. It's actually really cool. And so that's the high-tech Coletto C pen that I have, and this is the back, of course, which has a little Chic Sparrow emblem on it and it says the made in the USA and uh kind of a little chunky actually but it's really not that bad actually I love the size it's probably the perfect size for me it's um about the size of my hand spread out um and it's a little bit longer than that and it is is it's very efficient for writing if you guys like writing this is definitely a way to go when I it's very floppy as you can see like it just it closes all the way and it does do the drop test so anyways I just wanted to show you guys this is what a this is a very true to color actually it looks like on here it's a little bit more red on here than it normally is but um in person this is, is a true to color it looks exactly like an English rose so don't be fooled don't think this is a red rose don't think that this is more of an orange rose nope it's definitely like a pink peony rose kind of color so just figured I'd show you guys that